Sean Murray's cryptic tweets have been driving me nuts to the point where I'm obsessed with everything this dude is posting. Please send some help. Hello everyone and welcome to another light no fire video. This is going to be hopium infused. So for those of you who hate Sean Murray, I'm sure you're not going to enjoy this video. So go ahead and just click away now if you want to be spared. And maybe I'll see you guys back for the state of the game No Man's Sky video later this week. It's going to be a banger. I really hope that you guys check that one out and enjoy it. Now let's talk about dragons. Yes, that's right. Dragons, baby. Uh, Sean Murray tweeting out, uh, why are you so quiet? What is on your mind? And dragons, 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 dragons. And this is obviously uh, an illusion. This is obviously a tease of Light No Fire. And this is obviously speculation because we have been in an absolute quiet zone since they announced this game. But there's things that are on the way, and I want to share a little bit about that here in this video. But yes, John Murray tweeting out, dragons, dragons, dragons. And this also builds off of his other tweets, like 2023 was a busy one for a small team in Hello Games with lots of No Man's Sky updates. And the announcement of Light No Fire, I expect 2024 to be even busier. And we just saw the no Man's Sky Omega update, which for me, like Omega is such a, like a unique name. And I know there was a lot of people who commented on that video talking about how, no, they're still going to be making more content for No Man's Sky. And then going back to this tweet, yeah, I think it's probably clear that while it's curious, they decided to give it the name Omega, there's most likely new alpha, you know, I'm not like a new alpha build, but uh, a new way of they're going to title future updates i do wonder if they are going to scale down but that just applies to the mythos that sean murray is this insane madman out there running around doing just the absolute incredible beyond my expectations scope for these kind of games so let's talk about that because he is tweeting this out and he's also been tweeting out other things and this is where my ignorance thankfully was educated as i look into some of his posts uh, especially as it relates to a uh, no man's sky you see the robots and they're and they're wielding what i would consider a mage like staff but these are just some really absolutely gorgeous images and that makes me just wonder and beg the question will we see like some kind of connection in terms of this now i don't believe that we're going to see something where like you could fly from the massive amount of planet universe to the light no fire world however if they decided to do that from a technological perspective as a developer holy freaking crap that's just going to be insane anyway i think that from a technological perspective they, they obviously are going to be separate but with pax east setting itself up here in March. I do wonder if that's going to be the next time that we hear a check-in on the Light No Fire uh, development. Now, personally speaking, I think and hope that we would see Light No Fire launch into early access. If we look at this year alone, 2024, at the time of this recording, we've seen a many many games launch into this early access category on Steam, and I think that ends up helping them out dramatically. Power World and Enshrouded are two really good examples. Nightingale just launched in that uh, that kind of mindset. And if we look at those kind of games and what Light No Fire is kind of teasing itself to be, I do wonder if we're going to see that same level of connection uh, in it. And obviously when it comes down to launching a game, I think when we look at, you know, Hell Hath No Fury, like a gamer scorn, the launch of No Man's Sky, uh, I, I can understand the frustration that gamers felt at that time, but here in 2024, with so many free updates and fulfilling the promises that Sean Murray made, I think it is personally time that people need to set that frustration aside. Otherwise, you're just choosing to be mad. Now, I'm not saying that you literally have to go give your money to Sean Murray or Hello Games today. You can clearly wait till the launch of Light No Fire and then decide whether you want to jump in to that game and that experience. But I do think that a lot of the frustrations that really are leveraged against this developer and his team and this the passion that they bring to all of this is in and of itself like proven. Like it's not a matter of words, right? Like words from a marketing perspective, I think is what got a light no fun, not light no fire, no man's sky in such hot water. Man, <laughs> I'm gonna probably mix that up for years. My dyslexic brain, 
Oh, man. I even was reading, because like, I have a bullet point for that item on uh, on my kind of outline for this video, and it literally says No Man's Sky, and I immediately, I don't know why I replaced it, but it's going to be fun. So hopefully you guys can bear with me for that. The final point I want to make in this video, because I would love to know your thoughts about if there's going to be some kind of connection in terms of the game. I think that there could be a bigger connection in terms of just kind of a lore, like this world does exist as a part of this, but that would then, in my mind, make anybody who's playing No Man's Sky want to go to that world. Like, well, can I fly there? Can I figure out where this this planet is among the quadrillion of planets that, uh, that are simulated in No Man's Sky? I don't know. I'd love to know your thoughts. Would that be something you'd want, or do you want this to be completely separate uh, maybe, you know, some loose dimensional connection or something like that. But because with the robots and with like the fact they're showing off a rage, uh, 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 a mage robot is what I would best call it. And you guys can tell me if there's a technical term for it. I'd love to know. I, I generally curious. What are your thoughts there? But the final point, like I said, I want to make is that the evidence of No Man's Sky highlights the passion and dedication for Hello Games. And this is reflected, I think, in the Steam chart numbers as we see that updates drop for the game and you see increases in the player count. You will see decreases, and that is essentially how a games as a service model works. But here's the thing, while you might not classify No Man's Sky as a games as a service, with continual of free updates, like I just, I'm just impressed. I'm, I'm fundamentally impressed by what they have delivered here for us, right? Because they don't keep asking me for money. I don't know if they keep asking you for money, but holy crap. The team in and of itself, it seems like they are really excited about this game and they're going to keep working on it. And that gives me so much hope and so much excitement for Light No Fire as we wait for any information or any news. Uh, the tweets just got my my brain, you know, uh, wanting to talk more about Light No Fire. And hopefully you guys uh, enjoyed coming along for the ride. Obviously, um, we're still waiting for hard information about the game. Uh, I we don't yet know if it's going to release here in 2024, but if nothing else, like back to the early access conversation, I think that ends up being an, a real possibility. And if they end up going in that direction, and if they are closer, because they've been working on this for over five years, if they are getting close to that point, I think, yeah, I think hopefully this spring or fall, um, spring, summer or fall end up being an opportunity for us to finally actually step into the world and and learn something more. If they if they're going to keep us in the dark for a year with just Sean Murray tweets, I think I might I think I might just lose my mind. And uh, maybe that would become a, some level of entertainment for you guys. I don't know, um, but I know for one thing, I'm continually scouring this guy's tweets, looking for any new information to share with you guys. And as soon as we get it, I'll be <laughs> you're going to be the first to know because you're already here. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for hanging out with my copium and hopium infused brain as it relates to uh, Light No Fire and obviously the work that they've been doing on No Man's Sky. And I uh, hope that you guys have a wonderful week. I look forward to seeing you guys hopefully in my next video. But until then, take care.